What is up, Flavor Family? It is Bobby, and today we are gonna rock some healthy, comfort, keto chicken meal prepping that is monster on flavor. It kind of harkens on to one of those classic Italian dishes that is starchy and carby and not keto-friendly, but we're gonna make this keto-friendly and so darn easy. So let's do it. Let's make some chicken keto meal prep. Chicken salt and boca. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs wrapped in sage, prosciutto, almond flour, and cooked until golden brown and crispy. And served with cheesy roasted cauliflower mash with roasted Brussels sprouts folded in. So here's the deal. If you love healthy, easy, delicious meal prepping for the week, click that subscribe button because we are rocking new videos every single Friday up in this kitchen and I would love for you to join the Flav City community. All right, this recipe starts with 10 boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I see some people using boneless, skinless breasts for this recipe, but homie, don't play that game because thighs are where it's at. They're fattier, juicier, and have so much darn flavor. To season these guys, I'm gonna pinch over just a little bit of salt and a few cracks of black pepper. Turn the chicken over and do a little more of salt and pepper. First, lay a piece of prosciutto down on a clean cutting board. Then lay a chicken thigh on top of that. Press a sage leaf down and then wrap the prosciutto around the chicken and then just keep going on with the rest of these chicken thighs. I like it, man. Looks like you went a little easy on the salt because of the uh, prosciutto. I did. Thank you for noticing. I hope you guys noticed that too. Uh, trivia. Let's do trivia of the day, Art. What does salt and boca literally translate into? Pause the video, leave your comment below. Do not cheat on Google. Go. Salt and boca sounds like salty bowl. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a salty bowl, Desi. Art, what is your guess? I'm thinking it's something to do with the mouth and salt but it means to, to jump in your mouth because the flavor is so good, it literally jumps in your mouth. And after that, I'm gonna dip them in almond flour. Thank you, Art, once again. The most eligible man in Chicago, ladies. This video is officially sponsored by Art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brought to you by Art. All right, the last one is wrapped and ready to go, but if you know chicken salt and boca, it is normally dredged in flour or cornstarch, but that is off limit for the keto fam. Instead, I have a baking dish of almond flour in front of me. We do have to season it. Even though Art said the prosciutto is a little salty, you have to season the coating so you have ultimate flavor. So it really jumps in your mouth. So pinch in a quarter teaspoon of salt, a few cracks of pepper, give it a mix up, then place the chicken into the almond flour. Press it down a little bit, flip it over, give it a press again, and then move it to a clean sheet tray. And then repeat that process with the remaining chicken. All right, last one is down, and these guys could be cooked right now, but I'm gonna put them aside so we can make the low-carb, keto-friendly, roasted cauliflower mash with roasted Brussels sprouts, kind of speckled all throughout. It is so good. All right, for the mash, I have one medium-sized head of cauliflower I cut into florets and one pound of Brussels sprouts. If you think you don't like Brussels sprouts or your mom used to boil them for an hour and make the house smell like a wet fart, Trust me, this is the furthest thing from that. You will be a Brussels sprout believer. To season these guys, I'm gonna drizzle over a couple teaspoons of avocado oil. And by teaspoons, I made tablespoons. <laughs> At least I corrected myself. <laughs> and then pinch over a little bit of salt, a few cracks of black pepper, and then put a half a teaspoon of dried thyme over the cauliflower. All right, this guy goes in a 450 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. All right, you guys, it's been 30 minutes and this is what I was talking about. See the color on those Brussels sprouts? They're crispy on the outside and creamy in the middle. And then the roasty toasty flavor on the outside of that cauliflower adds so much flavor to the mash. I do have a recipe from like, I don't know, last year where I do a boiled cauliflower mash. That's what Desi prefers. But for me, the depth of flavor we get from the roasted cauliflower is life. All right, I'm gonna grab my blender back here and then transfer just the cauliflower to that. And then while the mixture is still hot, you wanna take a nice knob of grass-fed butter here, about a tablespoon, add that to the blender. Then grate one clove of garlic to the blender, and then a few tablespoons of Parmesan cheese or Pecorino Romano. And then because I roasted the cauliflower instead of boiling it, it needs some liquid love, so I'm gonna tip in some warm milk. You could also use cream, half and half, and then pop it on the blender and just blend away. All right, now, I know what you're thinking. If you don't have a blender, or you wanna keep things clean in the kitchen, yes, you can use a good old fashioned potato masher, but you're not gonna get this consistency. Take a peek in here. This is straight up 
baby food for adults done right. Look at that. Creamy, nice and cheesy. Is that too thick? No, I don't know, it's perfect. Try. Okay. Bessie's telling me to check for seasoning. Oh man, that is good. It's perfectly seasoned, but it's all about that roasted flavor. It is like buttery and creamy and a little like popcorn that is delicious. All right, I'm gonna transfer the mixture to a clean bowl and then take the roasted Brussels sprouts, give them a chop up, and then add them to the bowl, and then fold the Brussels sprouts into the cauliflower until it's nice and incorporated. I've never seen a mash like that before. If you're trying to get little Timmy to eat his vegetables, this is the way to do it. He ain't gonna know he's devouring like five servings of vegetables, including Brussels sprouts. All right, this is done, let's push that aside cook the chicken and be done with this keto chicken meal prep. All right, the advantage of doing the cauliflower first was that the chicken can come to room temperature. You know, one of my 10 commandments of the kitchen is never cooking thyeth chicken in thyeth cold pan because it cooks unevenly. unevenly. <laughs> Speaking of the pan, I'm using a nonstick today. I'm preheating it over medium high heat. I'm gonna drizzle in two teaspoons of oil, then add the chicken to the pan. And that's what you wanna see, you guys. If the pan and the oil isn't sizzling, Take the chicken out and wait another 30 seconds. You want it to start cooking and more importantly, crisping up that prosciutto ASAP. All right, I'm gonna let the chicken do its thing for about four to five minutes and don't touch it, that way it gets nice and crispy. Art's on this mash like nobody's business. You do notice it's good, right? <laughs> See, a big child like Art, even he likes it. Did I fool you? Good stuff, man. Thank you. After five minutes, let's give it a flip. Perfect. See how golden brown the crust is and that prosciutto is getting nice and crispy? Let it go another five minutes. All right, first batch is out. I wish you could smell the crispy prosciutto and that sage. It is so crazy. I'm gonna put that aside, keep the pan on, add a couple more shots of avocado oil, then add the second batch of chicken to the pan. And the reason why we're doing this in two batches is you don't wanna overcrowd the pan, otherwise they're never ever gonna get golden brown and delicious. 10 more minutes until this keto goes into this belly and then we're done. All right, you guys, last chicken is out looking golden brown and delish. Mash is calling my name. Less talking, more plating and more eating. Let's do it. Let's grab a big scoop of mash and put that down on the plate and smooth it down. Grab a couple pieces of the crispy chicken salt on boca. Top that off with a little bit of parsley and there it is. All right, you guys. Chicken keto meal prepping like a boss. This honestly, come on, looks like something you would get in an Italian restaurant, but it'd probably have a redonk a donk amount of carbs that would kick your body out of ketosis. This is low carb, keto diet friendly and loving it. I'm going in. I need chicken and equal mash. Wow. I don't like those. You don't like the way you look. I guarantee it. <laughs> you guys, mm. man oh man, that chicken is so darn juicy. The prosciutto and sage is so crispy and that almond meal crust is so nice. A little bit of texture on top. That with the mash, oh my goodness. This is amazing. Bring in the masses, you guys have to try this. Here, let me cut you Give some pieces. Some, my mouth is watering. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, there it is. The recipe is down below in the description box. Hook us up, subscribe to our channel, spread the Flav City love all over the interweb. If you want two more pretty epic videos, they are streaming below me. By the way, the macros, heating, uh, storage, all that good stuff is down below too. But we will see you next week. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking mad love. Peace. You say bye too? You wanna say bye too or are you too busy eating? See ya. <laughs> <laughs>